What's good, R&B squad? This is Heart of Ruth. I trust that this message meets you guys in good spirits. If you're new here, welcome. We don't believe that you're here by accident. We're happy to have you, and Jesus is even happier. The Lord delivered some messages to me, and he touched me so deeply with these messages. And I only hope that I can express the beauty in my delivery. I don't think I can because no one can do it like the Lord can, but I'm going to try, okay? The Lord led me to the first book of Peter, chapter 2, verse 11. Beloved, I urge you as sojourners and exiles to abstain from the passions of the flesh which wage war against your soul. And then he led me to Exodus, chapter 19, verse 10. And the Lord said to Moses, Go to the people and consecrate them today and tomorrow. Have them wash their clothes and be ready by the third day. Because on that day the Lord will come down on Mount Sinai in the sight of all of the people. And I should just add here that part of the consecration process for these people when they were going to receive this visitation from the Lord is that they were asked to abstain from sexual relations and I'll get more into that very shortly. Then the Lord told me to tell you guys to read again Song of Solomon chapter 4. Now this section describes the first intimacy of the maiden and the beloved after the wedding. For many of you, your beloved is en route. Whether you have not met your person yet, or you already know who your person is, or you guys are in separation, your beloved is now en route to you. The time for coming together in marriage is at hand. Okay, you've been seeing correctly, you've been hearing right, all of the signs you've been receiving, all of the words you've been receiving. This is indeed your marriage season. This is indeed your season for union. A lot of you are going to be in relationships before the end of the year, committed relationships. A lot of you are going to get engaged before the end of the year. A lot of you are going to get married before the end of the year. This is the time for it, okay? And this is exactly what the Lord said to me. He said, consecrate yourselves, for once this happens, once your beloved comes to you, both you and your beloved will be in the presence of the Lord. Despite your eagerness to consummate your love, abstain from sexual relations until your wedding night. And he said that's a very stern warning for who this is for, okay? I hope that that word bless someone, and I will be back with another word as soon as the Lord releases me. Take care.